Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to add your Android Studio project to GitHub. So what you got to do is go to github.com and create an account if you don't already have one. Then you can go back to Android Studio and then go to your project and you see here it says VCS. Click enable version control integration. Then we're going to select Git for GitHub. So now our project is enabled with GitHub but we don't really have the repository completely created. So next we got to go back to the VCS button and go all the way down to import into version control where we'll find share project on github if this is your first time doing this you're gonna need to log in with github on android studio directly you'll probably have to create a password like this one under mine and then we got this thing here where it prompts you to create your project on github it says here that we have an invalid name that's okay we'll just add a little underscore here or we'll just do camel casing i guess and we can describe it as this project it as this project demonstrates the use of multiple button single activity. So then we click share and then we get to select what we want to commit to GitHub. Typically I commit everything that automatically selects which is everything you need to create this project on another computer or work on it for another computer and every time you want to commit something to GitHub you need to specify a commit message basically saying what happened in that update. We haven't actually first time. So then we click OK and you see here it's pushing to GitHub master. That might take a second. I mean, it's not the biggest project in the world, but it's still having to share our entire project. We get the link here. It's been shared on GitHub. Open that up. See here, now it's on GitHub. Uh, we can view our whole project and we can even add a readme. You can also use GitHub to have other people look at your work or even edit your work, add contributions to it. Get to like our main files. We just go to app, then source, and main, then in Java, and then your package name, you'll find your classes. And then in res, for resources, you'll find all your folders. So everything that's in this folder right here, be there. Everything's nice and synced up. You can, let's say, click on one and view it. Or if you want to make changes to it, you can just click the little edit pencil and make all the changes you want and then update it. Also, let's say I made an update in this class. Well, to commit it to GitHub, because it's not automatically saved to GitHub, you gotta go up here to the screen little arrow. Okay, well, in this case, there was actually a change made, but it was automatic. So you can select, you know, what the change was made, which is already done for you. You can see that our original was this, but now that we've added to GitHub, we now have this. Very different, but it just stuff that the compiler needs to know. And then you could click commit and commit and push, or just commit, recommend and commit, commit and push because just committing it will leave it on your computer. But if you commit and push, it'll actually push it out to the server so you can access it on another device. Otherwise, it's not really updated, just updated on your computer. So we'll just type added directory, direct, click commit and push, and then we'll send it out to the server. And we'll see here it says pushing, still pushing. Okay, and then let's say we did work on this project on another device and we want to bring the changes to our computer. We can go up here to this blue button, selecting stash and branch default. Always wanting to use the same thing that does default. Click OK, and it'll attempt to bring all the changes in, but there are none, so we don't have to worry about that. Hopefully that gives you an idea of how to use GitHub with Android Studio. It's kind of complicated at first until you get used to it, but hopefully you learned a lot today and can use the skills you learned today to be more successful in your programming.